today i am going to solve same style questions of your book yeah. this is the question question number three and uh, now you can see the solution of question number three and extra bits uh, are sent with each byte of data and you know it very well uh, you know it very well that only in case of parity check it happens that an extra bit is sent with the byte of data uh, this, now let's move on to the second part uh, makes use of time out and, and acknowledgement ARQ is the case in which uh, uh, timeouts and acknowledgements are attached with the data as you can see it from your book that ARQ is that method in which uh, the sender waits for an acknowledgement by the receiver if uh, for a certain time if the time becomes out the center again resends its message otherwise if it gets the acknowledgement it does not resend the message and it can cons considers it to be accepted uh, and now comes the next part if an error is found a request is made to resend data uh, you, you know that in case of arq crc method is being used this is the c this is the crc method which counts the number of ones and converts it into hex form uh, if the data is not correct it is uh, requested uh, from the sender to uh, send, resend the packet of data check on whether a data packet has been changed following transmission uh, in case of checksum uh, checksum is also one method in which uh, whole data is converted into uh, a dendry form and some sort of formula is applied to the data and some more uh, some for, um, sort of extra value is calculated which is sent with the byte of data same is the case with um, arq and arq also crc method is used you can see that in parity check also it is uh, seen uh, that if the data has been changed or not during transmission recalculation is made on any additional data value sent to the recipient you know that in case of checksum uh, the uh, dendry value some for sort of formula is applied to the dendry value to calculate uh, recalculate the value in in case of parity check uh, recalculation is made on uh, to see if the data, whole data has become uh, uh, odd or even and in case of ARQ also recalculation uh, is uh, done on the receiver's, uh, receiver's side in order to check uh, in, uh, in case of R ARQ uh, as a CRC method is used to count the number of ones and then is, which is then converted into hex form to see if the receiver has got the correct number of uh, ones or not the next part is data transmission is in the form of blocks or packets in case of uh, checksum the data is sent in the form of blocks you can see that in case of parity checks data might be in the form of bytes or it might be in the form of blocks sometimes the data is only in the form of bytes as you can see it over here and sometimes the data is in the form of blocks as you can see it over here so I have put a bracket around the answer and in case of ARQ uh, of course the data is in, is in the form of blocks or packets. Now comes the sixth part a method that can determine which data in a bit in a data stream has been changed. You can see it uh, from your book uh, this, uh, this diagram explains it well. You can see that there was a decision of even parity between the sender and receiver but bit 5 has 1 2 3 4 5 which is odd number bit 5 has odd number of ones and byte 8 has odd number of ones so there in the one at their in intersection has a problem so this can be checked through parity check additional values sent at the end of a block of data to be used to check if any addition at any data transmission uh, has occurred you can see uh, as you know that in checksum 
an additional value is uh, calculated uh, and uh, at the, uh, the the whole data is converted into dendry and some sort of formula is applied to convert it into uh, to calculate an additional value same is the case with um, parity check in parity check uh, the number of uh, additional bits are added to make the data odd or even and same is the case with arq additional value um, a whole, um, number of ones of the number of ones of whole data are counted and are converted into a hex form uh, and that hex form is uh, attached with the uh, whole packet of data so it's uh, in all three cases an additional value is sent along with the data uh, to, to see if there are any errors in that data transmission so these were question uh, numbers two and three of your exercise